No, I mean, I, I, I feel this comment that I mean about all this bullshit, no bullshit <laughs> question you're asking me, but I'm not exactly sure what we're trying to answer. I mean, well, we, is this, are you talking about like living longer? Is that good? Yeah, so, well, okay, that's, that's an awesome question. <laughs> that's an awesome question. Is that good? So I think we've been talking about uh, is a cure for aging viable? Why don't we come back to our original questions? We should ask those questions. Um, is aging a disease? If I were to ask you again, would your answer be different, Ali, than it was in the beginning? You know, again, I need a more precise definition of aging. Well, then how would you define it precisely so for us? So, if we define aging as a lifespan of an individual, then I will immediately will have to add this other variable of quality. Like, what do we mean? Like, do I want to be 120 years old and not recognize my kids? Or not know who I am? Or where do I live? Is that what's worth what we're doing? And remember, life is a cycle within cycles, right? It seems to me like evolution has selected us for the ability to be adaptive to the environment where we find ourselves that we did not choose. Nobody decided where they were born, what culture, what parents, what language, what religion, none of this was our choice. We just parachuted here, and if that wasn't bad enough, we don't even choose our DNA. So what am I trying to do here? Live an extra 20 years, goo goo gaga, not knowing, <laughs> not knowing what I am? I prefer to live half of that with total awareness of my own environment and total contribution to it. I don't want to be here just to be here. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why I don't think aging is a disease. I think aging is actually a necessity for evolution. I think in every single species, may you be a plant or an animal, that's part of the natural cycle. You will not develop adaptive trait if you didn't die and if you didn't age. This is a fact for all species as far as I'm concerned. Making it longer or shorter, you can ask the butterfly who lives only for one day. Mm. She will tell you it's a beautiful life. Mm. Beautiful, Ali. Mm -hmm. So I think that beautifully brings us to the question before I open for, for Q&A. Uh, Ali, I think you bring that question in really um, in a very elegant way, which is uh, with nine billion people on this planet, what, what do we really, what will we bring on if we really do delay aging significantly amongst large populations. And, and is this something we should want? Is this something we should really desire? David, do you have a, a thought on this? Uh, I have a, a whole book on this, actually. <laughs> uh, I fundamentally disagree that just because something's natural that it is acceptable. I do not believe that aging is acceptable. In the same way that 100 years ago, we thought cancer was a part of life, the life cycle, don't mess with cancer, don't mess with heart disease. How many of us would just tell our relatives, don't take a, uh, a medicine if they had cancer? Any of you? Would you let your, your, uh, your parents die from cancer? No. You would fight it with every dollar and fiber of your body. Why is aging any different? It is a natural process, yes, but so are all the other diseases and scourges we fought and, uh, and misfortunes that we have in the, in the wild. We don't live in a world where we freeze to death anymore or starve to death anymore. And we fight against these diseases that we call cancer, heart disease, and Alzheimer's. Why not tackle the root cause of all those problems? Are you afraid of having too big an effect? Are you afraid of people being too healthy? Take my parents. My mother didn't look after herself. She died at 70 after suffering like hell for 20 years after contracting lung cancer. That's a world I don't want for anybody. My father took, out, took care of himself. He started taking uh, some supplements. He started exercising. He started eating two to one meal a day. He's now 85, healthier than he was in his 50s. He's healthier than me. He's fitter than me for sure loving life, he's educating his grandkids, he travels around the world, spending money, boosting the economy, training people. He started a new career, he's 85, he's running out of friends his age. It's, that's the one issue of getting older if your friends don't stick around. But I would 
tell you which kind of world do you want for yourself or for your family members? Do you want my mother's experience where we just say, ah, oh, good enough, let's take what God or evolution gave us, it's natural, fine. Or do you want to fight against this like we have with every other thing that has plagued us as humans and give more people the kind of life my father is experiencing? And let me tell you, when people get healthier for longer, the byproduct is longevity. The primary goal of my research is not to live longer, it's to avoid the diseases that make us suffer and die. And having witnessed my mother die basically in my arms, I do not want anybody to have to go through that if they don't have to. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, awesome. <laughs>